What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium 2 walkthrough. Okay, so I surprised you guys yesterday with, uh, you know, a a major surprise right here. Yeah, I'm saying that a lot. And uh, yeah, it was Pokemon Stadium 2. And I did it just because, hey, you know, I've been promising Pokemon Stadium 2 for a long time. Actually, for about 10 years, and it never came to fruition. And then, all of a sudden, you guys start seeing me trade Pokemon through Pokemon Stadium 2. So, might as well come out with it while I'm doing Pokemon Stadium 1 right here. Now, in this episode, we're going to be going straight to the Gym Leader Castle. And we're going to be taking on Azalea Gym uh, Bugsy. Now, in the last episode, we defeated... Uh, what's his name? Faulkner? Yes, with our original Pokemon Crystal team. Now, in this one, we're going to be using our Pokemon Yellow team, and hopefully it'll come out the, the way I want it to. Now, he does have two trainers, so it's uh, twice the fun right here. Now, let's go straight to Draven right here. And, of course, here are... Well, wow. Yeah, I didn't take out the Pokemon that I needed to take out right here. So, let's go ahead and pick the teams that we need. Okay, so let's go with Sparky, of course. Godzilla, Godzilla. Ultra Psycho, of course, has to be on our team. And we have to give a Pokemon an item. So, unfortunately for us, we... You know what? We're going to have to go with Leftovers right here. And let's go straight to our box and get pick out the next Pokemon right here. So, we got Hydra coming in. And, uh, let's see, Hydra is at level 80, so we might have a little bit of trouble with that one right there. And Thrasher, don't forget about Thrasher, and, uh, let's see, we gotta give him some, uh, let's see, lower, uh, Pokedot Boat. Okay, so let's give that to that, and then let's give Tank, actually, you know what, Tank, a regular Tank, let's see, does it have good moves? Okay, comparison to our regular Tank right here. Um, you know what? We're gonna go with Tank 2 right here, and we're gonna give it the Polka Dot Bow. So here it is, guys, our regular team from Pokemon Yellow, with the exception of Tank, and uh, hopefully this all goes well. So here it is, guys. Gym Battle number two, Azalea Gym Battle, Gym Battle number one. Don't you dare make fun of my bug Pokemon. Alrighty, look at that. Woo, man, I am uh, excited for this. Super excited. And this guy has... Say, well, four bug type Pokemon, a rock type. Well, you, yeah, we could do this. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use the regular squad right here. Oh man, I am tempted. I am very, very tempted. So let's go with a Godzilla, Godzilla, Hydra, and Ultra Psycho just to make sure that, you know, this comes out really well. So here it is. Look at the graphics on this. Well, I know it's like early 2000s and all that stuff, and it's not up to date like, you know, today's graphics, but. You know, I've never, ever, ever, ever really played Pokemon Stadium 2 because, well, as a kid, didn't really have much money. Uh, very active and good gravy. This guy screwed me over. Okay. Literally screwed me over. So, let's go with Hydra right here. But like I was saying, didn't have much money for all the Pokemon games that I would be getting now. Plus, I was very, very, very active. Folks didn't like me being at home all the time, so they put me on Taekwondo, soccer, wrestling, football, all that stuff. And look at that. It's going for a tackle attack. Oh, wow. Seriously, I thought it was going to go for something else, like explosion or something. And, well, let's go ahead and go with the Surf. Thankfully, we equipped a Hydra with a very good move set. It's at level 80 right now, but it can cover this whole thing with water. Look at that. Super effective. It's all about the typing, and there you go, guys. A Geodude has been defeated. Now, what is another thing, too, that you know I've been doing? Honestly, the only games I've ever played... I, I've, I've said this plenty of times, guys. The only games that I've ever really played are Pokemon games and sports games. But then, those were very limited. Didn't necessarily have a lot of... Uh, didn't necessarily have a lot of time to play games, too. I think it was around high school. And look at that. <laughs> Oh wow, it was around high school where I stopped playing video games and focused more on sports, so yeah, that's uh, you know, this, this is just me, right now I'm actually having a lot of fun playing these games because man, when, like as a kid, man, I would have enjoyed them, but now as an adult I'm enjoying them even more, so I would appreciate them just a bit more right here, and this guy is using scary face just to lower my speed, so now, yeah, now I'm gonna be down on speed, but let's go with a Thunderbolt right here. And here comes a Nightshade attack. What will it do? Holy crud, and bam, hits us again. So we're just gonna be taking our licks, 
Let's go with a Thunderbolt. And it is victorious right here. Say goodbye to Spinarak. Okay, and look at hey, he's just dying like that. Okay, so who's next? It must be a faster Pokemon right here. Now, you guys gotta understand, too, these Pokemon right here, yeah, uh, Bug-type Pokemon. They're quick, they are not... Oh, he just recovered. They're quick, they are tricky, they like to use evasive moves, poison moves, you know, all these kinds of moves that will, like, affect your your, your, your stat line. Not only that, but it would actually use uh, Leech Life to screw you over like that. They are very, very weak. Very, very weak, but they are very easy to defeat. Just try not to, just try not to uh, underestimate them and all that stuff. As you can see, this Paris or this Paris is actually surviving a lot of these moves. And here comes another Leech Life. Yeah, this guy has no chance. The, the good thing is that Hydra is a flying type Pokemon, so <laughs> it's going to be easy for me right here. And yes, I will be featuring Hydra number two in this game as well, since I already have it in Pokemon Crystal. Look at that. Say goodbye to Paris. Yeah, buddy. And just like that, we win. <laughs> okay, so that is... Uh... Well, that, that's another sweep right there. Pokemon Yellow Team is doing pretty well right there. He's like, I didn't expect this to happen. We'll expect it, buddy. So now we're going to be going up against the Twins. And uh, no, this is not a double battle. Remember, double battles don't come until Generation 3. And the twins, what are they going to be doing? You'll be surprised at how strong we are. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, she has a nice, well, they have a nice uh, uh, selection of Pokemon, cute Pokemon. So we're going to have to be strategic with this one right here. So let's go with Thrasher. I have a feeling they're going to try and use Pikachu right here. And, well, let's see, we got Tank. Let's go with Tank and an Ultra Psycho. We always go with Ultra Psycho just because, you know, it's dead like it's broken and all that stuff. So, here we go. We're going to be going up against the Twins. And here is Thrasher making his Pokemon Stadium 2 debut. And here comes a Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. And, well, let's see. I think, yes, I do have a fighting type move. So, this would actually work against this Jigglypuff. So, here we go. Submission attack. And that nearly takes all its HP, but we do get a hit with the recoil, so that is a little bit of a damage. And here comes a charm attack. This here will actually lower its physical attack, so good gravy. Alrighty, let's go again with a submission, and hopefully it can actually beat this Jigglypuff. It's not a lot of HP left, so here we go, submission. And good gravy, it survived. Okay, so Jigglypuff is actually doing some stuff, and here comes a Charm Attack again. Yeah, I'm assuming... Yeah, I'm only assuming that it's going to bring out another another normal-type Pokemon right here. So let's go with a Bubble Beam. Hopefully this will take care of it. Here we go, Bubble Beam Attack for the win. Look at that, Bubble Beam. Don't mess with my Bubbles. Go with the Bubbles! And... There we go. There we go. There we go. And here comes a uh, wow, ladybug. Okay, so let's see. Do I have a good move for this? Is it still considered a flying type Pokemon? Ah, crap. You know what? Screw it. Let's go. Cancel. Let's switch out our Pokemon and let's bring out crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. Yeah, let's go with Ultra Psycho right here. I like I said, guys. Uh, both Pokemon, Pokemon Yellow teams and Pokemon uh, Crystal teams, they will be coordinated accordingly and all that stuff. Plus, I will be teaching some more moves to, you know, each and every single team right here. The only thing is... What the hell? Sweet scent? Oh. Uh, the only thing is that the, the type of attacks that I will be using on or teaching these Pokemon will be, you know, moves that it can actually use in Pokemon Yellow. Remember... It's a generation away. Can't use all the moves that it, the, all the new moves in here. And look at that. It, oh wow. Ladybug is only going to be using a sweet scent. Good gravy. Okay, so our evasion is falling. We're not trying to evade you. We're just trying to defeat you right here. That's uh, my no nonsense uh, smash mouth hitting, uh, you know what. Here we go. Psychic attack, Bendo's uh, spoons, and there you go. LLLLLED has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. 
<laughs> she, they're screaming, no! Okay, so they got one more Pokemon left. Who is it going to be? And it is a Sunker. Now this Pokemon, pure grass type Pokemon, it should be easy to defeat right here. So let's go with a Psychic Attack. Come on, Ultra Psycho, do it. Finish it. And there we go, Ultra Psycho. Does it? <laughs> Sunkern has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. So, yeah, that was easy, I guess. Probably looking at Victorious and all that stuff. So, here we go. Another Pokemon has been defeated. Win, lose. Gym Leader Draven for the win. And they're like, uh oh. Yes, sir. Has been defeated. So, now we are going to be facing the Azalea Gym Leader, Bugsy. Now, for a long time, I actually thought Bugsy was a girl. I really did. I actually thought of that. I'm the Bug Pokemon researcher, Bugsy. Ready to be... Ready to get started? Yes, sir, I am. And look at that. It does have one twist right here. And that is, it has a Pupitar on its team. And more than likely, it might be using that Pupitar. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, well, let's go ahead and screw around with these guys just a little bit. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so it has a Grass type. Oh. Well, the majority of these Pokemon are, are are weak against fire type Pokemon, but just to be just to be safe, I do want to use something else like that. Let's go ahead and use Hydra right here. Okay, so let's go. Let's get this. Bring it. So here it is, guys. Gym battle number two, and it's against Bugsy himself. And we're gonna start off with Thrasher, just because I like. I, I have a feeling this guy's gonna go with Pubitar. And nope, I was incorrect, but this could be a good thing right here. So let's see. Let's go with a thrash attack just to be... Oh, it's being sent back. Okay, never mind. And here comes the Pokemon. What is it going to be? It is a Scyther. Okay, so Scyther's going to be pretty fast right here, but here comes a thrash attack. Now... I'm going to have to be careful with this one, because now I'm locked in for this whole thrash attack right here. So, here comes a Hyper Beam. Holy crap. And we survived. Here comes another thrash attack. And unfortunately for Scyther, now it has to recharge, which is good. We're both stuck. Does it have to recharge? Come on, Generation 2. Don't screw me over. And yes, it does have to recharge. Let's get this. It's staying there. Let's go. Thrash attack for the win. Hopefully for the win. And no, that doesn't take it all the way. Um, so now I'm a little confused. And, well, I'm going to have to just shoot for it. Bubble beam right here. And here comes a wing attack, which won't be as effective. But it takes a nice amount of damage. Here's his confusion. And, uh, well, there it is. Bubble beam. And, wow, nearly defeats Scyther right here, so, screw it, we're just going to go with submission, it doesn't really matter, Scyther is going to hit us first, and here comes the win, Thrasher has been defeated, but it served its purpose, because we already know what, what kind of Pokemon this guy has, so, let's go right ahead and use a Godzilla, Godzilla, do not worry guys, I got Hydra, just in case this guy wants to pull something funny on me, so here we go, Godzilla, Godzilla, ready to do it, ready to kick some butt, here we go, flamethrower for the win, and yes, Scyther is going to be a little bit more faster than us, especially at uh, level 85, hits us pretty good, but here he comes, flamethrower for the win, eat it Scyther, and there goes Scyther. Now, one thing is that the fully evolved Pokemon, or Pokemon like Scyther, are going to be a little bit faster. They, yeah, very, very fast. So, just be aware of that. And, uh, well, here comes Whipping Bell. So, it looks like, to me, I'm going to be using a lot of uh, Flamethrower right here. Let's get this. Finish it. Oh, uh, yes, Bugsy, you messed up. You should have went out with Pupitar. Should have went with Pupitar. And look at this. Flamethrower. For the win, suck it, Whipping Bell. Oh yeah, yeah. Bugsy should have came out with uh, with uh, Pupitar. He should have came out with Pupitar. And here comes its last Pokemon, Beedrill. Might be a little bit faster than me. Might not, but let's go right ahead and use a flamethrower for the win. Yes, we are faster. Time to eat this flame. 
Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye to Beedrill. Nope, it survived, and here comes a sludge bomb. Oh, jeez. Okay, so now we're poisoned. No worry. Look at that. No worries, guys. We got this. Flamethrower for the win. Suck on these lemons, Beedrill. Suck on these lemons. And there you go, guys. Throwing out that peace sign. Actually, the metal horns. I am throwing out the metal horns now. Okay, alrighty. And there you go, guys. We defeated Bugsy, the bug type gym leader. And, uh, well, this is with our Pokemon Yellow team. With, like, limited moves. Eventually, I'm gonna teach him some brand new ones. And he's like, I was just unlucky. And there it is, guys. Two gym battles down, six more to go. And trust me, they will get tougher. So the next gym leader is going to be Whitney. Again, I will be switching up Pokemon here and there. I will be using Pokemon that I've used from, uh, oh, other Johto and Kanto Pokemon that I've used in future walkthroughs, such as, you know, Emerald, Platinum, and all them. And I will be incorporating them right here, right here. On top of that, I will be teaching, you know, some of these Pokemon that, you know, come from Generation 1, new moves that are correspond to their, to their current versions and all that stuff. But, Anywho, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you love this surprise right here. This Pokemon Stadium 2 will be sort of like Pokemon Stadium 1. Twi uh, two videos every single week. And then hopefully we'll just, you know, we'll go from there and all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>